Well, I was gonna try to show everybody kind of how I do these uh, wooden tongue drums. And I kind of got on down the road a little bit before I remembered that I was gonna do that. But um, I mean, up to this point, it's just a box um, laying out how you want your tongues to be and kind of the um, layout of, of where you want the notes and, and all of that. But what I do is I, I get, I'm gonna see, I've got this all glued up here right now. But my top is, I take it down to five eighths. And then, I don't know if you can see very well, the light's kind of hiding it. Um, let me try this other side. You can see right here, this is routed out an eighth of an inch deep. So the thickness of the tongues on the back is five eighths. And I can take that down a little bit more to lower it. Um, I try to get it to where I'm only lowering the, the tongues and not having to raise them, but um, you always wind up having to raise a few. Sometimes you go too far um, you get down to where you're really close and, and you're removing just a little bit of material from, um, try to show you here, just a little bit, bit of material right along this edge and then tapering back, you know, this way. If you come back, if you come back up here too far, then you actually start going the other way. But as long as you're removing the material back here, you're lowering the pitch of that tongue. And so sometimes just a little bit, um, sometimes removing just a little bit of material and it'll go further than you want it to. And you have to, um, you have to take some off of the ends down here. Some people drill holes. Um, I try to, with a Dremel, I try to just kind of take it off of the end here. It's more effective right on the ends and right at the right at the very back. That's the most effective places to, to change the pitch. Um, but then sometimes I'll use a drill also and and uh, re remove more material if I'm, I'm trying to remove a good bit. I'll still have to come here where you see these tongues end and I'm in the process of cutting blocks that will go here and they'll come all the way out to this end and brace it really good. If um, if that isn't braced really good, then you're not gonna get very clear notes. Uh, you're gonna get more overtones and sympathetic ringing and that kind of thing. So you wanna, one of the main things about building these um, is getting your box all glued up good and having good tight um, glue joints on your box and then having it braced really well as i start tuning i'll give you a little bit more um, information on how i'm doing that and the, kind of the step-by-step -step deal um so anyway i've seen a lot of i've seen a lot of uh how-to videos on these and nobody gives you all the information uh most of them are guys that are just building their first one or two or whatever. And, um, you know, you just don't get a lot of the information and the, the blocking, the bracing in here. Um, I had to kind of figure that out on my own. I heard one guy that's a, a professional that, that makes them for a living. And he mentioned about the bracing being so important and just kind of by the process of elimination, I figured out that, that the bracing is gonna go right here. As long as you're glued up good on all your other spots, um, that's the only thing that that is not braced. And I've made one where I cut my, my tongues all the way back against, you know, this back and just use that as a brace. Didn't turn out very well. Um, you need to be a couple inches back away from the end there. I'm going two and a quarter 
just because my first piece of three quarter and then two more pieces of three quarter will get me to um, right to the edge of this at two and a quarter. And the, the shape of your tongues is not all that important. These lower notes have a little bit bigger, some of them quite a bit bigger end on there. And that's just to, so it will be lower and it doesn't have to be longer. It gives it a little bit more mass out on the end. And, um, but you can kind of make the shapes the way you want them to look. And um, this is just kind of how it worked out here. Well, I forgot to continue my video and um, at least video in my progress on that other build. This is kind of where I had that other one at. Um, this bracing here, uh, extremely important. Have it on both ends. I've routed this out down an eighth of an inch gets me a lot closer to where I need to be. Uh, my top is a uh, five eighths purple heart. And uh, I've done the same thing on this end. It's a little hard to see because of the shadow there. <clears throat> and I've also found that writing the frequencies and the notes on the bottom side while I'm tuning it helps me a lot, keeps me from getting confused. But um, anyway, I'm working on, I've got this first one right here. Um, I don't know if you can see that real well, but I've removed some material right up against the bracing here. And um, it goes back about three quarters of an inch and you know, it just kind of angles back down. But most of your adjustment is gonna be right up against that bracing, that block there. And um, the more material you remove from there, the lower it's going to be. As you as you move back up the tongue, it gets less and less effective. And there's a point where you'll actually start adding higher frequency to it once you get so far back. So it doesn't really do any good to go back further than an inch or so. That's how wide that uh, track is right there that I routed in it. That's an eighth inch deep. And... Um, once you get past that, you're really not doing anything. It takes so much uh, material removal just to get anything that it's it's not worth it uh, going past that. <clears throat> I believe that the bulk that you have from um, the thicker tones down here actually improves the tone. So uh, it gives it more mass and it'll move more. And when you strike it, of course, none of them you want to strike real hard. But when you strike it, it'll move more and give you more volume. So that's one reason I, I don't take it any thinner than that. Now, these are all my findings. I haven't had anybody tell me how to do them. Um, my preferred method is, is a, that's a 3 8 wood chisel. I keep it really sharp. This uh, Purple Heart is, that stuff's hard, it's tough. Um, I've made two out of uh, Paduke, and it, while it's a hard wood, it's much easier to uh, remove the material. I also use this Dremel with uh, that bit right there, that's the best bit I could find. It's gotta have some type of angle to it or you just can't do anything with it. But that one works fairly well. And um, I'll go back in and, and do a little cleanup um, in there. And I'll use that. I use it to fine tune just a little bit because I can remove less material at a time with that. So anyway, I'm gonna go through and you know, just keep working on these and, and tuning them. And um, once I get a little bit more done, I'll come back. Well, here's a little object lesson for you. Um, I overshot my target frequency of 13081 to 121. And I was struggling to get it as I was removing material from the from the heel 
down here. I was struggling to get it to move more than four or five points every time I removed material. I got within 10 points of my target and I removed about half of what I thought I needed to move and I checked it and I jumped from uh, 140 down to 121. And just, I mean, just a few little strokes of the chisel and it had dropped that much all of a sudden. So um, it's a lot better to go slow. You can see how much material I had to remove out of this <clears throat> to get it up that nine points. That's why it's so much easier to to go down than it is to go up. All right, I'm tuning this, this one right here, this E. Um, you can see the target frequency is 329.63. And um, I know it, there's not enough light there to see very well, but I had to take it down about the same amount, um, about 90 points. And I removed about half as much material. The smaller ones, um, they'll go down in frequency and up in frequency much quicker than, than the longer, bigger ones. Um, so you have to remove much less material on these and you have to, you know, you just have to check it more often because I moved about a third of the material off of this than I did off of this one. And on this one right here, um, I just tuned it and I was careful enough not to overshoot that one. I mean, when I quit it, it was, I mean, exactly in tune within about two cents. So, and like I say, I'm sure it will drift also, but I can come back and, and just micro adjust those and, and get them in tune. Um, some people may feel like 10 cents is close enough, but I wanna be, you know, under five cents uh, one way or the other. And typically I'd rather be a little bit flat than a little high, a little sharp. Uh, flat always sounds a little bit better than sharp does, in my opinion anyway. It works best to remove material all the way across from side to side, instead of trying to m remove it just from the middle or one place. It just, it works much better and sounds better if you remove it all the way across. Now out on the tips, it's harder to do because you really don't want to thin it down here and, and be able to see it. Uh, but you'll get more movement in your pitch going all the way across if you can. But um, I'm trying to help people out and let you know some of the things that I learned on my own by trial and error. Um, but as I see other guys talk about it and listen to their instruments, uh, I know this is what they're doing or something really close to it. And again, the the really, really, really important part is having this braced. I brace out two and a quarter inches. The reason I do that, two's probably enough, but two and a quarter, um, that's, in, that's three quarters of an inch three times. So by the time I get those three together, I'm at two and a quarter and it just works really well and I don't have to plane down a bunch of my material. I also don't try to get them glued on the sides here I leave them back a little bit so it can't rattle. But um, if you try to get it tight enough to get in there and be, be glued tight to those sides, um, it's a chore and I can't tell that it helps one bit. So I, I leave mine, you know, about a 16th short of the width and, um, and glue it up. I got it tuned up most of the way. It's within a few cents on most of them, some of them are dead on. But on this corded, you have 